nine days left until we get our hands on monsters immortals private public beta we're just gonna call it beta at this point monsters immortals beta today is all monsters immortals as we're approaching this game of course we're gonna have to make more videos regarding monsters immortals because a lot of people are not into this game why are they not into this game even though it is our deception i'll tell you why because no one knows what to expect no one knows what's gonna happen no one knows what is this game all about what kind of modes we're gonna get what kind of lobbies and how the gameplay would work so i'm gonna try to minimize that confusion as much as possible we're gonna talk about chapter 4 monsters in this video and also take a look at some game modes and some new monsters and morals so you know without wasting any more time let us begin so i'm gonna start off with chapter 4 monsters in dark deception monsters and morals on their twitter as well as instagram they've been sharing some chapter 4 monsters but monsters only we're talking about reaper nurses that we showed in the last one we talking about lucky the rabbit mama bear and trigger teddy we're talking about today they posted that pig oh, wow. as a new monster that ruined my day for a little while then a few seconds later they also posted queen herself oh that God. made my day instantly so a lot of people are confused because the roster is getting super clean over 24 monsters immortals are now being recorded both from dark deception and from other dlc games as well people are wondering why chapter 4 monsters what is going on are we gonna play them before chapter 4 i got y'all so in previous q a's winston living's talked about this where he said that chapter 4 and chapter 5 basically anything that comes after monsters immortals will be added in later after monsters immortals as a dlc now as we are aware that the whole game will be available for 9.99 not the beta but the official launch that'll be on 29th october you will get chapters 1 to 3 which we'll get to in just a second all the maps all the monsters all the morals but any content that comes afterwards like all these jojo gang reaper nurses my weird trigger teddy them any other dlc that'll come as a dlc later so any dark deception related monsters mortals and maps will be for free because you bought the full game Game of Monsters and Mortals on Steam, but any other DLC like Monster from Ayana Lefzik Labyrinth DLC or Evil Nun DLC will be off price, of course, but not as huge around three to five dollars. I don't see it being more than that. So no, chapter four will not going to be included in monsters mortals yet but only after chapter 4 releases for the base game of dark deception then it'll be included as a dlc package later for monsters mortals where you can play as these monsters and mortals and the map of course but with chapter 4 out of the way there is another thing that came out of nowhere ladies and gentlemen today on their instagram and twitter they posted another addition to their roster yes ladies and gentlemen the first one a new mortal finally getting some mortals here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is from Glowstick Entertainment, Pen. Her name will be Pen Pen and Monsters Immortals, and you can see her concept design. Goodness gracious, that is awesome. You can see her shirt, the face mask that she's wearing. She might be a monster underneath that, but this looks super clean. Welcome to Monsters Immortals. Then we have the most anticipated mortal of them all, Winston Living's himself from Glowstick Entertainment, and not only he's looking buff, but he's also got you'll see t-shirt hinting towards a future merchandise we can see the cap but here's something that really is interesting and i caught it right off the bat you can see he's immortal but why the freak his eyes suggests that he's monster underneath well we're all monsters underneath but this kind of seems to suggest that winston livings is not a good guy but he's also not a bad guy he's in between you get my point where i'm just super super excited for him but now this one is extra juicy clean nixon ladies and gentlemen has joined monsters mortal squad was not expecting him but he will be a playable as mortal as we are aware that nixon doesn't like to show his face but we are also aware that nixon was basically Bonnie from Five Nights at Freddy's face or head or mask whatever you call it now they change it because of the legal stuff and legal issues he will be now wearing Lucky the Rabbit mask as a mask huh that made no sense but I can't wait to play him as my mortal if this developers pack is available on launch you know i'm playing as him first then wins then pen pen and then do Yauzu, and then beers but ladies and gentlemen now we're gonna go for game modes because a lot of people out there are confused i was confused too until winston livings himself cleared out in the recent q a he talked about two game modes that are in 
the Monsters and Morals right now. The first one is my favorite, and this is the one I'll probably be playing because it sounds way too much fun, is Maze Escape. This will be a three versus one challenge where you'll have three morals and one monster. Goal is simple. Morals in any map, let's just call hotel in this situation. The morals, all three have to work together, collect all the soul shards before the timer runs out and get back to the escape portal or ring altar, whatever you want to call it. However, on the monster side, their job is to do two things. Number one is to stop them from getting all the soul shards. You can either be a distraction for them as monster, make the time run out and they lose in that sense, or you can kill them or try to kill them at the very least. But of course, that'll take time since each player has a health bar. Get as much damage as possible because in the second game mode, why damage is important, we're gonna get to it right now. The second game mode is in what's called Shard Mayhem. This is kind of like a battle royale mode where you can pick any character. It could be a monster, it could be a mortal, and you have a timer. So what you have to do is run around, get as many shards as possible. Of course, when you start out, everyone will go for the the shards instead of one another. Now when all the shards are being taken away, now is where this mayhem comes in. You can steal shards from one another, you can kill each other to get the shards because when you damage other player you can get their shards, you can kill the player and get their shards, you can use powers and do whatever and when the timer runs out, the mortal or monster who has the most amount of soul shard wins. Now in hindsight, there is nothing wrong with this mode, I personally don't like that because people are gonna be toxic on this one. <laughs> I'm not good with multiplayer specifically stuff like this. I hate modes like this, but I will still try out and get one W in my entire career. <laughs> I will be playing most of Maze Escape 3 vs 1. Try to be mortal, try to be monster and see what happens. Of course, more modes will be added later, but that would do it for this one. Ladies and gentlemen, Monsters and Mortals is shaping up to be clean and as the roster grows, I'm gonna give it 12 months. This multiplayer game will be the real deal on YouTube. Hopefully, it's stays alive until that period new monsters and new morals keep this game alive because let's face it every multiplayer game has its timeline its limit then it dies so there's no shame in seeing your game die but anyways nine days left we're gonna be here playing the game day one hopefully i get the beta and i don't miss it 50k boys here on youtube 2k on twitter and 500 insta Do it. all right